Standoff with a suspected gunman in Valinda is now in its 17th hour. KCAL News reporter Tina Ezzedine live near the scene on Wing Lane. And Tina, a lot of neighbors have been forced out of their homes, sadly. Yeah, Rachel and uh, Sheba, that is uh, just a really sad part about all of this so far. Um, and uh, nobody has been injured. I want to quickly point that out. But you can see here behind me uh, some of the residents uh, that are now congregating a little bit here on the corner because uh, they have been told that they cannot go back to their homes. They've actually been out of their homes since this all started around 2.30 yesterday afternoon. And as you may or may not be able to tell from the camera, it is starting to rain out here. So these people are, uh, this one gentleman, if you can actually see him, I want to point this out. He's actually standing there barefoot, I just noticed, uh, because um, many of these people were quickly told to just leave their homes. So uh, this is a problem for the neighbors. It's been ongoing. It's also a problem for the deputies, I want to point out. You can still see the sheriff's deputy uh, cruiser there as well as the tape because this particular street, which is, by the way, Wing Lane in Valinda, uh, we're near... We're near La Puente and uh, West Covina, and this street has been blocked off because on this street is a man who is inside of a home, and neighbors called the sheriff's department yesterday to report that he was firing his gun uh, from the home and onto uh, the street, and there were neighbors and people passing by, so they were concerned. They called the deputies. Uh, you can see from some of our video what happened when the deputies arrived. Uh, they then exchanged gunfire with the man that was inside of the home. He is now wanted for for assault with a deadly weapon, and the neighbors were told to leave their homes out of precaution. Uh, I should also mention that a sheriff's special enforcement bureau, they've now taken command of this scene, and uh, armored SWAT vehicles uh, created a perimeter around the home. Now, it is unclear if the man lives inside of the home that he's barricaded in, or if it's his family's, but I do know that uh, law enforcement is talking t with his family, and the family's actually helping them learn about uh, the uh, gunman's possible state of mind. Uh, crisis negotiators have continued to try to speak with him to get him to end this standoff, but neighbors are still out of their homes and naturally they are scared. Yeah, just hopefully we can all come through this and, and this can end soon because everybody wants to go home and feel safe. You're not feeling safe right now, are you? No, because bullets can fly. When there's no other thing to do, what can we do? We didn't want to go and bother our family because we were thinking that it was going to uh, just happen right away, but no, nothing happened. That woman that you just heard of, uh, we just introduced you to her as we were live a short time ago. Her name is Martina Castaneda. She actually slept in the car with her two sons that are ages three and four years old. You can see them in the video. Uh, residents say that they heard gunshots when this all started yesterday afternoon, some estimating about a dozen or so. Uh, nobody has been injured in all of this, no neighbors or deputies. Uh, but as you can hear and see, the neighbors uh, in their hearts, they are heavy and they certainly want to go home. It is quite the scene to see the neighbors showing up out here, sleeping in their cars hoping for a resolution and soon to all of this. Rachel and Shiva, back over to you. All right. Well